Hello everyone, this video I will show you this A4 board work with the newest HomeKit because I have updated the iPhone iOS with the 16 version and this time I will show you how to use this A4 board work with the HomeKit and this time we have used the 4 channel relay and the 4 channel digital input for sensor because I have used the wall switch for a test just use any dry contact sensor and connect with this 4 channel digital input and this is temperature sensor but this time I have connected with a 10 temperature sensor so this DS18B20 sensor but I have used only one GPIO port so I have connected with this just a two just a, a three line a VCC and a ground and the signal so let's look at how to download the Arduino code for this home kit you can see here we have uploaded the source code to the, our form so you can download this 21 uh, source code you can see here uh, you can just download this zip file and you, when you unzip you will see uh, these files uh, this is firmware if you want to don't want to use a, a source code you can just uh, download the firmware to the ESP32 by this file this time I have used Arduino you can see I can open this project and this is a project file and this sound drivers for lamp and for sensors and this is for dry contact sensor and this is for DS18B20 temperature sensor and this is for just relay and you can see here we have defined uh, the temperature sen sensor 1, sensor 2, sensor 3, sensor 4 so you can see here we uh, have 4 sensors and until 10 sensor and this is dry contact sensor so you can see this is 4 channel dry contact sensor until 4 and this is LD1, LD2 and LD3, LD4 so this is just 4 channel relay so we can just download it uh, before you download you just need to install the board the board you need to install the ESP32 so you can just input ESP32 so that will list uh, you must need to install version 2 I have installed the version 2.0.4 that is the new list so just install it and I have installed and also you need to install the library that called home span I can input home span so you can see I have installed also you can install the new list so you can close it and now you just click the toy and choose the board that ESP32 uh, this one uh, node MCU 32S so and you can see check the com out you can set uh, see the com part on your device manage in your windows system so you can see here the com part i have used a com3 so i just choose this com part is com3 so you just click upload so that will complain and download the freeware to esp32 so we just wait for a moment okay you can see complete now we can open this ceremony because I have configured this file before for this board so the first time I need to input the letter E so that will erase and clear all date so I can click send so you can see here all date erase restarting and this is configured temperature sensor and now your home span is ready because I why I have imported the E because sometimes you want to change the Wi-Fi and uh, change another place you can import the E to erase all information so now you can import W to configure Wi-Fi SSID and the password so we can import W and press send and this time home span will scan the network and you can see this is listed the Wi-Fi signal you can see my mobile phone iPhone have connected Wi-Fi by the King Conley SSID so I also let this A4 board 
connect with the King Conley SSID. So you need to let your board and your iPhone with one thing load. So I, this is number one, so I can input one and uh, click send. And this time you can see, please import the password. So you just import the Wi-Fi password of your load. And you can click send. And now we're restarting. The A4 board, you can see we'll restart. And here you can see uh, waiting for wait, connect to King Kony, and this is connected. So this is IP address of your A4 board. Now you just not have prepared, you need to use the HomeKit app, prepare the A4 board. So we can see here, we have a code. This is a prepare code. So you can see I can use my mobile phone. I have used the iOS 16. You can see here, I have updated my iPhone for iOS 16. And I will use this HomeKit. This is my HomeKit and click Add Accelerate. And here you can see more option. And you can see this find the home span. And click and add anyway. And this import your code. This code is this one. You can see here 46637726. This is the default code of the home span. 4663-7726. Six and press continue. And here you can see it will take a few seconds. Okay, you can see the device is detected. I can set this in my bedroom because here are some Chinese words. I have used the English words bedroom and press continue and press continue and press continue. And this is the drive contact sensor. Uh, this is sensor one. I can press continue and also choose to bedroom. Continue, and this is sensor number. If you want to rename, you can input. This time I, I save the time, I'm not rename it. And the drive contact will list as a contact sensor, door sensor, garage sensor, window sensor, it's up to you. I can just uh, click the contact sensor and uh, continue. And this is sensor two, dry contact sensor two. Also choose to the bedroom and uh, sensor two. I can choose this door, door sensor. Uh, just just let see let you see the different icon. And continue. And uh, number three, sensor, bedroom, and continue, and the garage door. Continue and the floor, continue and the bedroom, and continue. And I can choose the window sensor. Continue. Okay, for dry contact sensor, have added to my home and press continue. And this is the LD set for this four channel relay. I can click continue and the bedroom, continue and LD1, continue. And this is number two. And also choose to the bedroom and continue and LD3 and the bedroom and continue and LD4 and the bedroom and continue. So this is four lights have added to my home. And continue. This is temperature sensor one, one of the temperature sensor. Continue and the bedroom sensor. And just next, next, continue, continue. Uh, for every sensor, because I have connect with the 10 sensor. So I just choose loop and continue, choose loop and continue, choose loop and continue. Continue. Seven, eight, nine, and the last one, this is the last one. Okay, the 10 temperature sensor have added to my home. Done. 
Okay, you can see the screen is very beautiful because this have used iOS 16. It's very beautiful for the home kit. You can see here, uh, this is the iOS 16 home kit. And you can see here, I can click on and off. This is number two, on and off. And three, on, off. And four, uh, you, you can also click this icon for on and off. 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 And this uh, sensor, uh, this is a temperature sensor. Uh, this is a 10 temperature sensor. You can see here, I have listed uh, this is a 10 temperature sensor, uh, just uh, this one. If I have hold down, I have hold down in my hand. And you can see some value have up. Uh, you can see uh, 31, 32. So the temperature is changed. And this is temperature sensor. Okay. And this is a security sensor. Uh, this is the bedroom. And you can see here sensor closed, sensor doors. And garage, garage door, and this is a door, and this is a window. So this four channel of digital input sensor, dry contact sensor, you can see here. I can hold down. Uh, this one, you can see, uh, this is open. This is open. Do you do you have see it? I can release my finger. It's closed. So I press this button. This is open and release it, that is closed. And this is number two. You can see I can, this door is open. That here open and closed. Open and closed. And this is number three. You can see here, the garage door is open and release my finger, that is closed. And open and closed. And this is number four, that is window. Uh, this window is open. I can release, that is closed. Open and closed. So this is the sensor you can see here. You can rename for the dry contact sensor. So this is iOS 16 that have displayed the relay and the sensor and the dry contact sensor and the temperature sensor at win window. Okay, this is how to use the A4 board, uh, work with the temperature sensor and the dry contact sensor and the relay. And uh, thanks for watching.